Hey guys, Shadows here. Welcome back to a brand new Gears 5 Operation 7 video today. I'm going to be bringing you guys my live reaction and first look at the all new Gears 5 Operation 7 at Tor Duty 7. When it comes to the new character skins, new weapon skins and other customization items and rewards. Based on the recent Operation 7 at Drop 1 trailer that we actually got last week, we did get like a, a little bit of a sneak peek preview at some of the upcoming character skins that actually are now live in Gears 5 today right now in the all new Tour of Duty with the launch of Operation 7. As you can see on the main menu selection screen, we have the daughter of the Coal Train. Yes, number 83 of the Frashball Cougars, Augustus Cole. This is his daughter right here. This is Hannah Cole, who is obviously going to play a major role in the Gears of War story going forward. But I literally just cannot wait to jump in right now. We do know, as I said, based on the trailer, a few of the character skins which do include the High Buster Gabe Diaz, the Drill Sergeant Clayton Carmine, Polystorm Sam, and of course the Regenerating Ukon. So I'm actually interested and curious to see if there's any other goodies. TC, what are you going to be bringing today in the all new Operation 7 at Tour of Duty 7 rewards? Let's jump straight into it. TC, show me the goodies. Let's go. Firstly, to begin with, for the all new Gears 5 Operation 7 and Tour of Duty 7 rewards themselves, obviously, you're going to start off with some Gears coins action. We do have the 2000 Gears coins, the Path Loadout set, 750 Gears coins, the Submerged Precision set. Hey, our first character skin in the all new Operation 7 and Tour of Duty right here. We have the almighty High Busted Gabe Diaz in all of his glory. This was obviously one of the character skins that were spotted in the Operation 7 trailer last week. But one of the major details I actually spotted about High Buster Gabe in that Pacific trailer is the fact that his right arm looks to be covered in a very cool looking armor piece. Which definitely makes him stand out from the rest in Gears 5. When it comes to big collections of character skins in this game, the High Buster variant is definitely one of the largest out there. But the all new High Busted Gabe Diaz is definitely looking very, very nice and pristine indeed. But moving forward, we have the 1000 Gears coins, the 1000 coins, the Path Flower set, 1000 coins, and oh my days, bro! Yo, dude, that character skin is looking nutty. Yes, oh, bro, I absolutely love story based Gears of War skins, man. Hey yo, you could never go wrong with a Carmine character skin in your life in this game in Gears 5. Dude, look at this. We have the Drill Instructor Clayton Carmine character skin in the flesh. Looking very, very buff indeed, right? Still wearing his specific, it's sort of like a variant of his cog helmet right there. Repping the Carmine family name, strong and proud. Uh, if you guys didn't know, this is one of the major story-driven lore-based character skins on offer in this all-new Tour of Duty. Uh, and if you want to know sort of like the backstory to the Drew Instructor Clayton Carmine character skin right here, we're going to give you guys a little bit of a tour into the Gears universe itself. So, after the ending of the Gears 3 campaign, with the end of the Locust War, obviously what happened to all of our COG heroes that were left on the beaches of Azura... There is a 25 year time jump between a Gears 3 and Gears 4. So when it comes to Clayton Carmine, obviously a Carmine family, a very, very proud member of his heritage. Uh, when it comes to serving in the COG military. So obviously with the new COG establishment by Marcus Phoenix and Anya Stroud, Clayton Carmine continued his service in the new COG forces. Still as a sergeant in the COG army itself, but with a very, very much more important role actually being the main drill instructor at the new COG Academy, uh, teaching sort of like cadets and trainees, which actually do include JD Phoenix, Del Walker, and Fudge Tutani, which is obviously just crazy, but, oh, uh, dude, I'm just such a, a big fan of the Gears universe story and lore itself, so to see even more story-based character skins like the drill instructor Clayton Carmine is just awesome. Moving on, though, from the awesomeness of the Carmine family, we have a thousand coins, the path assault set, a thousand coins, a hundred iron, the submerged power set, 1250 coins, a hundred iron. Hey, yo, we're getting currencies right now. What is this? 1250 gears coins, the path precision set, and dude, I've just noticed my ordinary main COG character chick that I am definitely going to be rocking. Always on stream, 
Oh, bro, we have the all-new Holostorm Sam character skin. So this is actually, again, just another massive story-driven Gears character skin now available in Gears 5. The Holostorm Sam is based on the events of the Gears of War 2 campaign with the Holostorm Initiative, uh, where she was actually a part of an explosive ordnance deploy unit. So that's why she sort of like looks uh, a little bit more buffed up in terms of a recon soldier. She's got like a, a few explosives around her as well, looking very, very swaggy indeed. Finally, finally, after 10 years, we actually have a all new awesome looking Sam character skin that I am definitely 100 billion percent going to be rocking. I'm a Sam simp. Uh, in Gears 5 versus multiplayer as we do stream it over on my Twitch live stream channel. If you guys aren't aware, there are the return of the competitive leaderboards in Gears 5 versus multiplayer right now. Actually replacing the older master ranking system from the past. And your boy is definitely going to be trying to chase a dream once again. Racing for number one in the world. So if you guys want to check out the Gears 5 live action, maybe even come play with me in this all new Operation 7 right here. Make sure to check out the link down below in the description of every single video. But moving forward once again, uh, we got 1,500 Gears coins. The Submerge Assault Set, 1,500 Gears coins. The On Sword Blood Spray, okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, we've got the Submerge Loadout Set, 750 Gears coins. The R100 Iron, 1,750 Gears coins once again. The Venom Burn Precision Set. Hey, yo, the Take the L, Loser Expression. Okay, a little bit toxic. Okay, not bad. We've got the 2,000 Coins. The 2,000 Coins. The Venom Burn Power Set. 2,000 Coins. Oh, no. What is this, bro? The LOL Mark. Okay, I'm never changing my mark or banner in this game. Come on. Uh, we've got the 2250 Gears Coins. The 2250 Gears coins. I've actually noticed, like, there's a lot of currency in this Tour of Duty, right? Hey, yo, TC, you could have definitely thrown some more Locust character skins in here, yeah. We've got 100 iron. Oh, my God. Yo, bro, what? Dude, oh, my days. I didn't even know this Scourge character skin even existed, bro. What? Yo, there's no way. Dude, we've got another story-driven lore character skin in Gears 5. And again, dude, way over a decade, right? Way over 10 years, Scourge actually has a new character skin. No way. Uh, we've got 2250 Gears coins, but here is the main man, bro. This is the Crimson Scourge character skin for the Locust Forces again. If you guys want a, a little bit of backstory about the Gears universe behind this character skin right here, the Crimson Scourge. During the Locust vs. Lambin Civil War, which takes place alongside the Pendulum Wars on the surface, uh, actually making his debut on the front first page screen of the Rise of Rhyme comic series, uh, you can actually see the specific Scourge sort of like uh, meditating in front of a shrine to the Trinity of Worms, as General Rahm and the other remaining drones are like batting it out against Lambin. Scourge is trying to connect to the Trinity of Worms using the mask that he has right there. Uh, which is sort of like a Locust Bong, maybe? Uh, he's pretty much like sucking in the fumes of emotion to uh, connect to a higher power in the Trinity of Worms. And uh, maybe that's sort of like connected to how the events of Gears of War 2 takes place where Scourge actually on board the uh, Locust Hydra is actually able to sort of like, looks like, control and navigate the Rift Worm when it was awakened to... Uh, try and obviously sink all the different cog cities, but dude, this is so cool, man. Uh, a few of like my main characters in Gears 5 are finally getting some new character skins. We've got the new Sam skin and now the new Scourge skin as well. Let's go, bro. Okay. Uh, we've got 2,500 Gears coins. 2,500 Gears coins. The Venom Burn Assault Set. 2,500 Gears coins. The finger wagging expression. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, the 2750 Gears coins. The 3000 Gears coins. Jeez. We've got the Venom Burn loadout set. The 3500 Gears coins. Oh, I see him, bro. Okay. Here we go. We've got the 100 iron. And lastly, for the Gears 5 Operation 7, a Tour Duty 7, a general rank reward right here. 
we have the awesome, super highly detailed looking regenerating Ukon character skin, which again is just based on the amazing story and lore of the Gears of War franchise. To explain the backstory quickly behind Ukon and the regenerating Ukon character skin that you see on screen right now, Ukon was actually a patient zero of the infected children with rust lung from their exposure to their parents, the emulsion miners. That was actually shipped off for uh, sort of like experiments at the New Hope Research Facility by Niall Sampson. Uh, and unlike all of the other test subjects, the other children, Ukon was actually the only sire to not go crazy or mutate into a beast. Pretty much keeping his mind and his body intact. Obviously sort of like mutating into a locust type species, but uh, his exposure to the uh, emulsion directly sort of like works in the complete different direction. He actually gained from it, right? He was gaining the ability to regenerate himself, sort of like healing abilities. While still having a rust lung and trying to cure himself, he was able to cause the effects of emulsion exposure in his body, in his cells, in his DNA to always heal himself. So he was pretty much invincible, unkillable, which is just absolutely crazy, right? It's like a, a massive story plot in the Gears Tactics campaign itself, but dude... What a bunch of awesome new character skins, right, in this all new content season. So there you have it, guys. That was my Gears 5 live reaction and first look at the all new Operation 7 and Tour Duty 7. When it comes to the new character skins, new weapon skins, and other customization item rewards, please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. What is your guys' opinion on the all new Operation 7 Tour Duty rewards? Are you guys excited or interested in any of the character skins right here? Just to finish off the video right here with a final recap of all of the unlockable character skins that you guys can earn right now in Operation 7. Because uh, luckily being a TCA partner, we've actually got access to all of the character skins in Gears 5 today. So obviously we've got Hannah Cole right there, but jumping into the character list itself. Uh, we do have the first I do spot is the Drill Instructor Clayton Carmine. Looking so, so good, bro. Uh, next up, we have the Holostorm Sam, which is obviously going to be my main COD character. Uh, next up, we do have the High Buster Gabe Diaz. As I did mention earlier, look at that arm, bro. Looks like uh, maybe sort of like Onyx Guard base armor right there. But uh, we have the amazing Hannah Cole, the daughter of number 83, the Coltrane. I literally can't believe it, bro. We have the children of Delta Squad, right? The future of the gear story is pretty much down to characters like that right there. But heading over onto the Locust side as well. A little bit of a sneak peek for you guys. Obviously, you can expect all of the Gears 5 character showcase videos very soon indeed. Uh, we do have the Black Steel Savage Cantus. Uh, next up, we've got, oh, bro. The Crimson Scourge character skin looking so, so good, man. We got the regular version of Ukon, which is just amazing. But, dude, take a look at the all-new Operation 7 Tour Duty General Rank Reward right here. The regenerating Ukon in all his glory, man. The Operation 7 grind is in full effect. We are racing to number one in the world for the competitive all-new ranking leaderboards. Obviously, you guys can definitely expect even more YouTube and Twitch Gears 5 content on the way very, very soon indeed. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're already. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I shall see you in the next one.